Hey guys, it's Craig here, and welcome back to a brand new Craig's Kitchen. Yes, I'm finally set up to do this again, and I'm looking forward to it very much. And today, because the holidays are coming up, at the time of this filming, that is, and you guys might have a lot of leftover food laying around, you might want to figure out, try and figure out what to do with it. You can make soups and stews, or you can make something that comes from England called bubble and squeak. And it's a very delicious thing and it's very easy to make. So what do you need? Well, you need stuff. You need things that you had in the last big meal. Even if it was a Sunday roast, as they call it in England, where you had mashed potatoes and cabbage and Brussels sprouts and carrots and, and corn, whatever it is that you guys have for dinner when you all sit down together once a week, you've got those things. Let's make something called bubble and squeak. So what have we got here? Well, we've got some mashed potatoes in here. I think there's mashed potatoes. Are mashed potatoes? Yes, there are. Look at this. <laughs> mashed potatoes. And what else is in there? Well, it looks like there's a little bit of gravy in there. And there might be some Brussels sprouts as well. What else do we have? We've got some carrots. These are cooked carrots, of course. And they're left over. And I happen to have some sausage here that I had for dinner the other night as well. So what are we gonna do? Well, let's get ourselves an onion. And you know, the thing about bubble and squeak is that you can put anything that you want in here. But the main ingredient really is mashed potatoes. You have to have the mashed potatoes because they're kind of like the cement that holds this whole thing together. So let's get ourselves an onion. This is the only thing that we didn't actually have in, for dinner in the, uh, you know, in the recipe. So we'll just peel this. This is the way, there's lots of ways to skin an onion, if you will. And this is the way I do it. Just get it off the skin there. There we have it. I try not to waste too much of it. I'm going to use two onions because I love onions. Where are we here with the end of this thing here? There we go. Get that off of there. Just peel that. And I, I do like to make this once in a while. You get an accumulation of stuff in the fridge. Corn, you can put corn in. Peas, okay. Green beans. Um, what else do you guys have for sweet potatoes? You could have some of those mixed around in there. Turnip, uh, I don't know. Uh, maybe, yeah, sure, why not? How about some turnip? Absolutely. So, but of course, onion, and you can add garlic to this as well. Um, if you want. Really, it's your choice. The, the concept is, you know, up to you. Now, I'm gonna do something here that I, that I don't see a lot of them doing when they do the bubble and squeak. And that is that I'm going to brown the onions, or at least saute the onions, just a little bit. Um, just to take some of the, just to give them some extra flavor. Because I love fried onions. Who doesn't? So, let's get this frying pan going on here. There we are. We have a little bit of oil in the pan there. Don't need much. I just like the taste of fried onions, so I'm going to do this. And we're not going to fry them for very long. Just, uh five minutes or so, uh, just until they start to get a little bit translucent. Start to, mm, I can already smell them. There's a piece of skin there. We gotta get that out of there. That too, right there. Yep. And they start to smell wonderfully. All right, they're starting to look awesome. So let's just turn that down just a little. In the meantime, we've got these other things here. I've got some sausage here. You might have turkey, you might have chicken. It might already be cooked. Um, you might have beef, ground beef, whatever. I don't know what you've got, but this is what I've got. So I'm just gonna cut this up a little bit. All right. I might even cut this in half, you know, and then that way it's smaller and it spreads itself. Some people take it out of the shell. You know, they take the meat out of the casing, but these are already cooked, so there's not much I can really do, right? There. This is not a 
big deal. It's just, you know, it's fun. Get ourselves a bowl. And we'll put these in just like that. Perfect. Right. Got our mashed potatoes. What do we got over here? Let's see if we can. There we go. We'll just. We've got some Brussels sprouts in there. Or you may have cabbage. All right. Put it all in there. And we've got some carrots as well, which have been cooked down. So there's an extra one. Hmm. I love it. And what you want to do is really just mash this all up a little bit, especially those Brussels sprouts. Get them in there. This is completely up to you. Okay. So that, to me, looks awesome. Uh, let's add our onions. Oops. <laughs> yeah. This is, this is awesome. And we're just going to use the same pan, you know, that we just used. So we'll just mix those around in there. And what we've got is the beginnings of a really nice, really what this is, is going to be a sort of hash or fried potatoes, but it's called bubble and squeak. So here's what we do. Get ourselves a little bit of butter. You could, some people make, they add flour to this and then they make patties out of it. Um, and then they make little potato patties and that's fine, you could do that too. Uh, but the way I like to do it is just make a little kind of a cake here. It's probably not going to stick together. But the secret here is, is turn your heat up sort of medium high is you want to get this browning on the bottom. So what you want to do now after about five or six minutes of uh, leaving it like this is start turning it over and it's not gonna if it's if you're just doing it like I'm doing it, it's not gonna stick together um, but you want to get some of the brown off the bottom and fold it back into the the stuff so let's see what we've got let's see what we've got some any brown going on here As you can see, I have achieved the goal of getting some nice browning on that. And that's exactly what you want. And we are done. Let's get some of this onto a plate here. Oh yeah, I know. Some people are going, what the heck is that? Well, ladies and gentlemen, it is a wonderful way to use up leftover ingredients. And I don't know about you, but I like to put some ketchup on. Or Frank's hot sauce, ketchup, got some homemade blue cheese dressing we can put on that. Uh, what else? Mustard. I don't care. It doesn't matter. Barbecue sauce. Whatever you want. I'll put some hot sauce on mine. Some pranks. Hot sauce. And a little bit of... And a little bit of ketchup just to... That with it there. That to me is a nice way to use up leftover stuff. Let's give this a whirl. You only have to try it to realize how absolutely delicious this actually is. Mmm, <laughs> so good. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you back here real soon on Craig's Kitchen. Be safe.
Cheers. Cheers.